the week of sin. This week has been one of the hardest weeks for me. I've had some personal things going on which have not been good. But day after day of learning different foods that I have tried to consume, which I thought I would check on or I thought I was good with, have been unclean. And it started, I was um, at a Long John Silver's and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna get fish and chicken and french fries and so I'm not getting anything unclean. And as I'm driving out of there, I'm thinking, okay, well, I need to go ahead and think about this. I wonder if they do the dipping of the fish and chicken in the same pot or the same whatever it is thing of oil that they have shrimp in. And I'd taken a bite. And I called. And sure enough, yeah, same same that. So I can't eat this meal. So it was okay, well I went and grabbed a hamburger from Burger King, got a Whopper, and went home. And it was either that day or the next day, somebody had mentioned that Parmesan cheese on, in most of the forms, most of the forms, not all, but most of the forms, is unclean. And basically, if you get great, you know, the stuff that's in the little plastic piece that we know is all basically sawdust because it doesn't go bad, which is another entire thing, um, it's unclean. So in two days, I've got two sins on me for unclean food. And I'm like, okay, well, I can never eat this stuff again. And so today I went and um, it's the end of the month, so I, I grabbed um, a frozen pizza. Cheese pizza, because, you know, obviously I'm making sure I don't have pork or anything like that in it. And I finish eating it. And I see some other food, so I want to pull it up on the clean and unclean list to see, can I eat this? Pizza I ate was unclean. Because they can't not shove pork in everything. If you eat a cheese pizza, they make sure it still has pork in it. Now that's just doing it for evil purposes. And they don't know what they're doing. Sure, they think they're saving a dollar. They don't realize there's gonna be a cost later on and, and it'll bankrupt every single one of these food companies. They will all be bankrupt very shortly as, some, as we go back to the kingdom because you know they're not gonna make it. They're responsible for so many people sinning. The sin is $250 um, for the price of a goat. They, how many goats do they owe? To save one one thousandth of a penny, and now they owe $250 to each of these people who have done this because they caused the sin. You know, it's unintentional for us. That doesn't mean it's any better for us because, I mean, we're not intentionally sinning, and hopefully we don't intentionally sin, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still a sin. It doesn't change the fact that to my creator, I have... I have sin on me. I didn't want it on me, but I've got it on me. And so as I'm looking, I look and see so many different bread products. And this is where it's going to really get embarrassing because when I went from the Long John Silver's to Burger King, the hamburger bun at Burger King has pork in it. Why, I mean, why not shove pork into a freaking hamburger thing? So what I ate trying to think, okay, I'm going to eat this to be clean, I ate unclean again. So in that same day, I was just unclean. And if you go to McDonald's, those, all of the, or most of the breads that they have at McDonald's are all unclean. The only thing I think you can get realistically clean at McDonald's are their fries. Everything else is going to basically be unclean. And it's, you know, if you go to Taco Bell, all their tortilla stuff, that's going to be, all, you know, um, I don't know about the, the corn, the hard shell, but they're soft. It's going to be unclean. You know, if you get a taco 
shell at, at you know go to the grocery store and it's already been cooked or it's, it's, you know a flour tortilla most likely it's going to be unclean they're going to shove pork in it why not i mean it's just bread and water and yeast if it even has yeast in it sometimes they don't even have yeast in it you know a little bit of salt so what in the world are they doing putting the pork in it but they do but it gets worse because as I'm looking at this and just getting more and more upset at myself, Crest toothpaste, unclean, got to shove pork in it, why not? So it's living in Babylon and we think, oh, I, I've looked at my clothes, I'm, I'm doing as much as I can to eat right. I'm actually calling and checking on these things. And they just still shove it right down your throat in so many different ways you don't see it. And when the Creator comes back, you know He's going to attack. If they still are in existence, if they haven't been blown up or destroyed or whatever else, and those executives are most likely all going to be dead at that point in time, they still owe us the money because I have to buy a goat for this thing because of my sinning because of them. And I didn't know it. You know, it's we, all, we go look at packages. We do the best we can. And my eyesight's getting harder. You know, I got to do it with glasses to really see because they want to put the print so low. And they'll do things in there where you don't even know if it's clean or not on the ingredient list. It has become preposterous in Babylon where they shove it, that pork, every possible way into our system so that we will sin. I mean, again, Two of them today, brushing my teeth, sin with pork. Um, a cheese pizza, sin with pork. You know, and it's, it's reached a level, I think, unfortunately. Again, I don't want to be in Babylon anymore. I don't want to live here. And I know everyone who is in faith says the same thing. I want out of here. I want out of here, I want out of Babylon, I want to have some food that I know is not unclean. The fact that I didn't know it doesn't change the aspect that it's still a sin and it's still on me. Um, I'll leave it there. I've just been so disgusted today with all the little things, you know, and here I thought I had done a full list. I had been looking at different things. I know if it's a cheese nip or something like that, it's most likely unclean, so I don't look at anything until I try it. Um, I knew enough on like an apple turnover or something at McDonald's to say, I, I don't trust it because I know what y'all do. Y'all put pork in everything. I'm not tr trusting that stuff. But our toothpaste? I mean, I can't brush my teeth until I go get a new toothpaste that does work and a new toothbrush because that toothbrush has got unclean on it now all that goes to the garbage and they just keep shoving it down our throat i'm gonna be love to be able to get these people i mean they can't save any money with it it's it's preposterous it it almost has to be for evil intent how are they saving any money by doing this pork garbage it, I mean, the amount has got to be so small as to be insignificant. Less than a penny per item. And, and somebody's living off of that. So it's just to shove us with the unclean food. And it's just horrific anymore. You know, I think, you know, McDonald's should have a sign up front. We're unclean, don't eat here. Burger King, we're unclean, don't eat here. Subway. Um... Obviously, Taco Bell. And that's before we get into the poisons of food they get. Which, again, if you have food that doesn't turn rotten in a week, it's not real food. It's preservative-based. So, but it's a problem. You know, we, we start traveling. We start doing things. Um, I don't know where to go with it. I don't know where this does go other than it's infuriating to me beyond infuriation. I thought I'd looked enough. I thought I was being very, very cautious. 
you know, I knew when they're like seafood restaurants that you don't use them if they have a deep fryer or something because they would have shrimp in it. I just forgot my, I'd done that for a while and I knew these certain restaurants, I don't go to them because I could get cross contamination. Not thinking, not thinking in the slightest um, that I would have got it from there or that I would have gotten it from a Burger King or a McDonald's. The simple things where they're still shoving it in us. Um, I know not, I can't eat at a Chinese restaurant right now because they have so much that is unclean and I'm sure that it's going to touch one of their things that is unclean. I know when I go to, like if I'm going to a hotel for a night and I come out in the morning, they've got eggs, which are going to be clean. Almost always they have a spoon in front of it to pull it out and it's right beside something pork based. And so I can't use, you know, I can't eat the eggs because most likely it's been touched by the spoon that's been put in there after being in pork. Um, you know, the, the obvious ones we can catch. But these little things where they slide it in are so infuriating. And my the reason for this is to catch other people to say, hey, you know, we have to be more conscious of these things that we're, we're consuming because it's horrific. And as well as that prayer to the Creator and to when the, for the Messiah when He comes. These places need to be fined. You know, the people who did it, they've caused all these people to sin, they need to be fined. I, and by saying that, the Creator may, or the Messiah, or both of them, could look at me and say, well, you've caused people to sin. You've been a stumbling block. And, you know, I hope they don't say that. But, you know, it's... And again, I've sinned. I, I know I, I owe the goat. It's what it is. I owe the goat. But this is, this is getting preposterous.